doing. But it is super, super late here on Friday. And I'm still a little bit in struggle mode. But I'm here for my Feel Good Friday on Friday. And today, I'm going to talk about something that you might not have even ever thought about. And that may be helpful. And so I know a lot of people probably traveled for Labor Day. Some people are still traveling. I am blessed and have the opportunity that I get to go to an all expense paid trip that was paid for by my side hustle by the company that I have. And so I want to give some tips and stuff about traveling when you have to go to a location that has high altitude. So um, for those of you that don't know, I live in Michigan. And so being in Michigan, I looked up that our altitude of Detroit, Michigan is 600 feet. <laughs> so we're very close to sea level uh, being around the Great Lakes. And um, so I'm going to be traveling to Salt Lake City again for an all expense paid trip that I won for being able to help, you know, over 250 people get healthy and well. And um, I have to deal with this actually a lot because you guys know I also travel for work. I travel for General Motors and I will travel to cities like uh, Salau and uh, Mexico City going through there. And I've had to be the Toluca. And so um, Mexico City, the altitude is actually 7,000 feet. And then one time that we went to Salt Lake City, we stayed in Park City, which is 7,000 and then the first, so I'm going to tell you guys about the first couple times that I had to deal with this actually. So the first time is when I went to Cuernavaca, Mexico, which is about what Salt Lake City is. It's around um, 4,000, 4,200 feet. And when I got there, I was like, this was a while ago and I was one of the best shapes of my life. It was like 2,000, right? So um, I go there and we were like playing soccer and stuff and I was getting out of breath and I like you know used to run track and stuff and then I had to sleep when I was there for a while and so they told me it was because of the altitude and I, I never even knew that and then um I actually went to Quito Ecuador in 2004 and that elevation I looked that up it's 9,350 I actually was staying in Tena in Ecuador and we had to come to the Quito airport and I remember then actually I passed out twice on the way to Dena. So meaning like I woke up and didn't remember that I had fell asleep. <laughs> like I passed out twice in a six hour bus ride going there. So again this is something that can affect people and so I looked up some information on how to minimize it because actually a few people that are going there, there's going to be 2,000 people from all over the country going there and they're asking. So I was like, hey, let me look up the information. Let me take a look at some supplements and things that can help with that, and how we can minimize it. So high altitude actually has benefits because our bodies will use more calories and burn more fat when we're in high altitude. But for lowland travelers like myself that are used to living and breathing in basically sea level and are new to that, it can produce some unusual effects like dizziness, nausea, and headaches. So here are some of the suggestions in order to deal with it. Stay below 7,000 feet the first day. So again, um, Salt Lake City is around 4,200. So if you have plans to get there early or leave late and go to like Park City and stuff, make sure you don't do that like the first day so you can adjust because Park City is actually 7,000. Give your time, your body time to adjust. So try, try to, again, try to do those lower altitudes first. Avoid strenuous exercise the first day. Limit alcohol intake because alcohol binds oxygen and water and robs your body of those important nutrients. So that's gonna be that's going to get you dehydrated. That's going to contribute to those headaches and that dizziness. Drink more water. So the air is drier. Your body will dehydrate much more quickly. The higher you go up, the more water you should drink. So you should be adding an extra liter or an extra four glasses of water. That seems like a lot. But um, that's what we got to try to do. So um, you know you're supposed to drink at least... Uh, you know, like half of your body weight plus 20 ounces in water a day. So while 
you're there in higher altitude, you got to try to add on like four additional glasses of that another liter. Try to travel with a companion. So if you have some type of condition, or for me previously, I suffer from asthma. Hey, Shonda. So make sure that you have a buddy so that they can help you if they see that you're coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, chest pain, and try to get that person to a lower altitude if possible. And then remember that the effects of some drugs, and tr such as tranquilizers, are greatly increased at higher altitude. So make sure you check with your doctor before you leave. And then get plenty of rest and enjoy yourself. So what are some of the supplements that can help? And what are some of the things that you can do? So in order to support, iron deficiency is something that can be common. And so... If necessary, you want to take an iron supplementation. So um, making sure you eat iron-rich foods. You know, our, uh, I'm already talking about my power greens. Power greens are amazing. And then antioxidants. So when you're in high altitudes, that increases the production of free radical damage to the cells. So making sure that you have antioxidants can reduce oxidative stress on the body that's created by that altitude exposure so make sure you're taking a multivitamin on a daily basis and make sure that it has at least 500 milligrams of vitamin c as well as vitamin e because that helps the absorption of iron and will prevent that iron deficiency and obviously if you have that iron deficiency that's going to contribute to you feeling more tired B complexes. So make sure you take a B complex that contains folic acid, B6, and B12 on a daily basis. And those B vitamins are going to help in the metabolism of carbohydrates, which will give you the energy you needed for endurance when you are in those high altitudes. And then another thing that can really help, especially if you're going to be in a high altitude and you are going to be doing active things. So if you do have plans to go hiking and doing some strenuous exercise is bran branched chain amino acids. So supplementing with branch chain amino acids such as leucine, isoleucine and valine will help build muscle mass and prevent deterioration of lean muscle at high altitudes. So that is another thing that you want to keep in mind when doing that. So some of the things that I'm going to make sure that I do in order to be in tip top shape and enjoy myself when I go out of town in the high altitude in, um, from next Thursday to Sunday when I'll be gone is I'm going to make sure that I get some amazing sleep. So one of the things that I'm taking now, starting today and through the time that I'm going to be gone, is Emupro. So this is a supplement that I usually don't take on a normal basis. And um, there was a couple, I was also reading a couple things about making sure you have enough ma magnesium. Hola, gracias. Again, Instagram. And so this actually is something that's going to help with my immune system support but it also does help with sleep when taking at night because it has 4.2 milligrams of melatonin so and then i'll be in a different time zone as well so i'm going to take one of these per night while i'm here and probably two of them while i'm there and then sleep essence so sleep essence has lavender flowering oil vetiver valerian tangerine and rue so again, I'm going to take these two things to make sure that I get enough sleep prior to me leaving. I'm also, if anyone saw recently, I'm doing a, uh, a juice and soup cleanse before I leave. So completely detoxing my body, making sure that it's going to be in tip-top shape. And while I'm doing that, I'm taking digest, digest and cleanse because when I do, um, and I'm also doing some herbal teas because when I usually do my my cleanses i also add herbs and oils just to make sure it's a full cleanse so digest digest and cleanse has peppermint caraway lemon ginger fennel virgin coconut oil fractionated coconut oil and anise so that's gonna completely cleanse out my digestive system and then some of the things that we mentioned that is good to take i was actually actually <laughs> did an end of the month order because I was out of some things that I needed to have. So 
one of the things that it mentioned was a multivitamin. So I was out of my multivitamin. I was out of my master formula. I have it. I'm glad that I have it before <laughs> I'm leaving. And this actually has some B12, some B6. It's got 60% of my iron. It has some magnesium and a bunch of amazing supplements that I'm going to need. So just um, some of the benefits of Master Formula. Naturally supports general health and well-being for the body. Gut flora supporting prebiotics. Ingredients help neutralize free radicals in the body. So that's also has the, those antioxidants we were talking about. So it includes antioxidants, vitamins, minerals, and other food-based nutrients. And um, delivered in an SSI technology that that gives three forms chosen for their complementary pro properties. And then um, just making sure I have plenty of, of B vitamins, helping with the energy, helping what I need. So our Super B, and that has the folate, 100% of the folate. Has some more B12 for me, some more B6 in here. So gotta make sure that I'm taking this every day and while I'm gone. And of course, I can't live without my my Ninja Nitros. <laughs> so this has more B6 and more B12 for me and things to keep my energy up. So taking that as well. And then um, my Mineral Essence that has magnesium. If you saw the video that I did about um, minerals, magnesium is super important for good sleep as well. And lastly, we actually do have a supplement called Amino Wise. I'm almost out of this, <laughs> but I will take what I have left that it helps with muscle recovery, enhances performance and specifically. But again, we talked about how being in the high altitudes, you're going to need this. So this has those branch chain amino acids it specifically says that here branch chain amino acids such as leucine isoleucine and valine and then taurine arginine glutamine alanine it has just a whole bunch of stuff in there um it's got a little bit more vitamin it's actually got 70 percent of my vitamin e in here we talked about vitamin e being important and then it's got some other things that are just going to help with that um, antioxidant. So the Ninja Wolfberry, it's got some essential oils in here, and then a an hydration mineral blend. So this, this is made for you to be absorbing all of the hydration and keep your body hydrated when you're doing that exercise. So... It says amino wise is a synergistic complex of amino acids and antioxidants that helps with fatigue and enhances muscle recovery during and after exercise. Formulated to support hydration by replenishing important minerals lost during exercise. Good source of vitamin E and zinc. So, only got a couple scoops of that left, but I am going to take that before I leave as well. And um, I hope that anyone that happens to travel from low elevation to high elevation got a few points of things that you can do to make sure that you don't suffer the effects of that. And in addition to that, um, just some supplements that you can help and make sure that you're getting in your body prior to doing that so that you can help. So you're saying um, try Zing, Nitro, Ninja, and Jade Lemon. So I do put Jade Lemon in a different... Um, detox drink that I do in the morning and then I always have my Nitro and Ninja every day and then if I need it in the afternoon I'll have my Ninja Zing with um, some more Ninja Red so so with that that is what I want to share with you guys um, just in addition to that if you guys are in Michigan we're always doing our educational classes so I love for you guys to join me here live but also like to see you in person so this Sunday is when we're having our monthly spa party um, open to guys and girls. I'm going to have a bunch of the guy products out there. Guys, you can come get a massage too. So it's at Pure Relaxation Spa and Wellness at 2850 Dixie Highway in Waterford, Michigan. Um, Suite 200. Check my page and check the event for the event as well as uh, video on exactly where it is so you don't get lost if you're coming from a little bit far. And then we'll have some other educational events coming up later in the month. So always, as usual, please just check out my business page. Check out 
things that I post so you can get that information. And everyone, thank you so, so much for joining me today. If you have anyone that's traveling and for whatever reason they seem to have some issues when they travel, especially to high elevation, please share this information with them. If someone has happened to share this information with you, get back with that person if you need additional information on any of the products that I talked about. And if I happen to be that person, then as usual, then say hi to me, ask questions, DM me at any time. And I thank you everyone for joining. Have an amazing day. And I'll probably see you a lot <laughs> in five days. I'm sure I'll be going live a lot on Facebook and Instagram just sharing share my fun stuff like I do anytime I'm on vacation. So I look forward to chatting with you guys and see you then. Have an awesome and amazing evening and thanks so much for joining me. Bye!